your well-crafted documentary has deleted what I wanted to say today. I will attempt to add a few. 14 months ago, when this project was flagged off, everything I said about you, you have not only altered, but you've taken to a level where the takeoff point is the sky. The best governor of Nigeria, the best governor that River State has produced, and we are praying for your successor and others that will follow him to struggle hard to see your brake light. Today, the courage and the vibrancy that people claim I used to have I can see myself not a strong man that I thought I was, but a very, very humbled man. So permit me, if I fail to vibrate the way you used to know, because of all the things that has happened to us in life, today is not only unique, but so emotionally touching that it is difficult for me to know how to begin. So, Your Excellency, our tireless governor, the special guest of honor and our friend going back to your father's era. We feel very, very honored that you answered the invitation of our government to be here to revive the old spirit and friendship that has always existed during the tenure of your father with River School. And so I plead with you using this opportunity to hold on to our government, revive the old friendship, stand with him. If you stand with Governor Wike, you can walk without your aids you can walk with your eyes closed. He's a man you can depend on. And so on behalf of Rivers people, I want to thank you for doing us, through him, the honor of coming for today's event. My dear brothers and sisters, today is unique. This governor that God gave us in 2015 has the hand of God on his head all the time. And that is why, despite the fact that he belongs to a different party from the one that is in control of Abuja, they couldn't resist crowning him the best governor for infrastructure in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. When your opponent declares you a winner, 
then you are a winner for all times. And that's what you are. Your Excellency, posterity will honor you. God will bless you. God will bless your children. You and your wife will live to your old age honored, blessed, served by all the lives you have touched. Where do I start? I will selfishly start from the medical sector by saying that I think somehow you missed your profession. You should have been a doctor. Why do I say so? Look at all the medical infrastructure you put in place, second to none in the history of this country and in all the states in this country. None, none can see your brake light in your healthcare program. Look at this edifice. The Honorable Commissioner for Health has lectured us. Everything he said about the uniqueness of this center, I fully support and endorse. And my national chairman, the chairman of NMA, president of NMA, has affirmed there is no other facility in this country owned by a state government that has everything you have here. No. The cat lab center that you have also introduced here, only three are functioning in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is one of the three. But what, what makes this one unique is that it belongs to a state government. No other one belongs to any state government. The uniqueness of this center is the fact that you enter through one door and everything you need to fight these two demons is inside you. Those of you who are privileged to go for treatment abroad, you know that you see the doctor in one building, they give you a paper to go and see another doctor in some other part of, be it London, be it the USA. And then for your investigations, you have to go to yet another distant place. But here, how God gave you the inspiration, only you and God can explain. You walk through this door, and everything you need is available under one roof. <laughs> only a doctor by DNA could have conceived this. That's why I say you should have been a doctor. But it's okay. You are in the legal profession. You've done well for them. You are a life bencher. All that is good. But here, you have done so much for humanity. The president of NMA tried to capture some of it. But you are not only laying infrastructure for healthcare. You are also training the human resources as we speak. You have close to 600 students on your scholarship studying to work in places like this. Very soon, you will become the reference point for medical personnel in this country. God will answer our prayers. You have made River State the hub of medical services. And very soon, 
your colleagues will be begging you to send some doctors on loan to them. Because we know that starting from next year, the two medical schools that came to life under your regime will begin to turn out doctors. And no state will be competing with you in terms of indigenous medical personnel. So we thank you on behalf of Rivers Keeper. But beyond that, we want to appeal to you. So with your usual style of meticulosity and attention to details, ensure that those who are going to manage this wonderful facility are properly equipped to do so, but in addition, will operate with a sense of humanity with respect for their patients, with discipline, and with the right attitude. And for my colleagues, patients are your employers. Patients are your employers. If you are a doctor and there are no patient coming to you, you are jobless. So let us begin to adjust our attitude to treat our patients with dignity, honor, and respect. Discipline is the key. Knowledge is bread and water. Anybody who is admitted to study medicine can qualify and become a doctor or whichever branch you want to go to. But what will make you different is your discipline to work. You are there, you are supposed to be there at 8 a.m., you are there five minutes before eight. Don't stroll in as if you are coming to do the patients a favor. No. You are whole life by the Hippocratic code is for service to humanity, to save lives. So, Your Excellency, let nobody influence you. Do what you think is best to ensure that 10 years from today, you will come back and see this facility you've kept and nod your head that you made the right decision about those who will look after this facility. We pray that the Almighty God that gave you the idea will give you everything you need. As we prayed on the day you broke the ground, so that what you had in mind by establishing this will be fulfilled and reverse people will forever eternally be grateful to you, our dear government. It is on that note that in humility, I and my dear wife, the entire family, and the entire good people of River State we want to thank you for this honor, for this immortalization of people who are alive, not dead. It is a unique history that you have written. Nigerians can now see the treasure that enemies of progress have denied Nigeria or are attempting to deny Nigeria. But God is omniscient, omnipresent, and all knowing. Rest assured that God doesn't start and fail to finish. All I ask our people, let us stand with our governor Come rain, come shine, day, night, anywhere and everywhere you are. May God bless all of us. And we thank the governor for this break.